We want to factor this completely, so we first look for the greatest common factor. There is none. So we count the terms. There's three of them, which means we break this trinomial into two factors. To get x to the fourth in our first term, we need to have an x squared in each of the first places. Because the second sign is negative, that means our signs will be opposite. One will be positive, one will be negative. And we look for the product, what will give us 24. It might be 6 and 4, or 4 and, four and 6 if we reversed it with the signs. It might be 8 and 3. It might be 12 and 2. It might be 24 and 1. So we're going to try all those different combinations till we find one that works. If we try the 6 with the 4, we see that we get a positive 6x squared in the middle, negative 4x squared on the outside. It's a positive 2x squared. Since we want the negative 2x squared, that just means we switch these signs, make the first one negative, the second one positive. So we have x squared minus 6 times x squared plus 4. That will give us the negative 2x squared in the middle, as well as the negative 24 in the last term and the x to the fourth in the first term. And neither of those will break down further because neither are perfect cubes or perfect squares, and therefore that's the completely factored form.